Hi everyone, welcome to Luis Cisneros YouTube channel and today's polymer clay tutorial it is how to make a red cardinal bird. This is a material that we need for our holiday project and I recommend to go to my website to download the proportional chart just to know the size of the bird and the proportions. Then we're gonna need these colors of clay and I recommend to buy the big uh, white block. Also, we're gonna need wire for our armature for the bird and some sculpting tools. And also this frame that I, I bought it at uh, some home decor store. We're gonna create the armature and we're gonna measure against the proportional chart. For this, we measure the length of the legs and the length of the body. Then you add an extra inch just for the foldings. Then we're gonna double the measurement and we're gonna fold the wire right in the middle. And you will have the length of the entire front view with an extra inch. We're gonna start turning our wire and we're gonna leave a hook on the top and this is so we can hang our piece while we work on it. You can use plier just to help you start turning and wrapping the wire. Remember the hook has to be outside the head and we're just gonna turn all the wire until we cover the entire top body. The extra wire we're gonna leave it for the legs. After we have the length of the body, we're gonna start creating the hips. And for this, we use the extra wire that we have. Just make sure that you cover perfectly the length comparing to the proportional chart. Then to create the hips, we just fold the wire in equal part on each leg, and then we make another fold to create the length of the leg. Don't worry if it, there is an extra wire, we can cut that after. We're gonna start creating our body and for this we need the armature and a sphere of uh, red clay. We're gonna start with a sphere and then we're gonna start molding compared to the proportional chart. As you see, I start creating a tear and then I start molding uh, again using a base, the proportional chart. Then I integrate it just really carefully to the armature. I can use a tool just to push the armature inside the clay. Use your fingers to incorporate the clay properly without leaving any marks. Then we're gonna start reshaping our bird. And for this, again, I use my fingers. Whereas the head is smaller and is more rounded, then we go to the stomach that is a little bit bigger. And then when we get close to the legs, it is a little bit thinner and it has a little bit of flat end. Then we'll start reshaping the head and for this I use my fingers just to create the sphere that we have on the top. And I compare it to the proportional chart just to know that I have the correct shape. We're gonna add the upper leg and for this we use a piece of clay with the same rate that we use for the body. And we also use the stylus with a small round tip. And this is just to blend it. So the shape of the upper leg it is gonna be um, just like the upper thigh. 
and uh, just a reminder there are going to be two identical pieces one for the left and one for the right After, with the help of your uh, stylus, use your fingers just to blend the marks that are the stylus left, and then integrate the other side. Then with the same red clay we create a cone and this is going to be based on our proportional chart, so just the base for our tail. And we integrate it to the rest of the body and we use the stylus just to blend in and our fingers to smooth the marks. We use the black clay just to create the eyes and we base it on the proportional chart just to know the size and then we will bake them. With the orange clay we create a cone using our proportional chart just to know the size and as you can see it is a little bit curved so in that way uh, we know that it's the pick. And we draw a line with our uh, needle stencil and this is to create the upper part and the lower part of the pick. Make sure that at the upper part it is bigger and also try to be symmetric as much as you can. Then when you finish it, you can bake it. To work on the shape of the head, we're gonna start putting the marks where our eyes are going to be and we use the stylus for this. So we push against the clay just to create where uh, the eye pockets are going to be and we follow the proportional chart for this as you can see in the front view and on the side view we have that position and how much we need to go inside then after knowing how much clay i'm gonna need i'm gonna recreate the part that I have of the black uh, part of the face with the proportional chart and I start integrating it into my head. I also use the pick just to measure if it is the correct size. After I'm happy with the shape that I got, then we can integrate it into the face and I use the stylus just to blend it in. Use the stylus to help you push the clay where you want it to be. So in these, it helps you just to create the shape. Follow the proportion on chart just to create the shape that I will want for the black clay.
Also, I create the eye pockets that I need to integrate the eyes. Just be really careful with the black clay. You don't want to contaminate the red and make a mix. But also you want to integrate the black clay really well with the red clay. And the reason why is because you don't want to leave any gap just in case when you're baking it, what it can happen, it can break or it can even open even more, leaving a huge gap. And you don't want this to happen. We're gonna start creating the wings and for this we need two identical tears with a darker color of red. For this you can add a little bit of black or you can use a darker tone. Then we're gonna flat them and we're gonna follow the same shape that we have in the proportional chart. So the tears as you can see they have a curve to the end to simulate the shape of the wing. After having the two identical, we're going to measure against the body just to make sure that it fits correctly. When you're 100% sure that they fit, then you can put the two of them and try to be symmetric. Integrate pretty well in the front and leave the tip and the end just loose. We put a piece of dark clay on the top between the two wings, just create more texture and we do the same almost at the end of the tail. Then just incorporate the top of the wings, especially close to the neck, we add a little bit of red clay. We use the needle tool just to start texturizing the back but also the part of the legs. So we continue that texture just creating lines and add it to the back and to the sides and everywhere since this is a texture that is going to repeat in the entire body. To create the back pattern that it has the bird, we're going to add more uh, shades of red and this is where you can be a little bit creative. So in that way uh, you can create your own pattern. So we use just different shades of red to create that pattern between the darks and the lights. I use lines of color, choosing like a mid color red and then a light red and then a dark red and then I start integrating little pieces of different shades so in that way I create the different feathers. Using the needle tool, I texturize. The more that I integrate, the more texture I add. To integrate the wings, I add even more clay at the back of the neck. And this is just to add more texture and to follow the proportional chart shape. Don't forget that we have to do exactly the same on both sides. We're going to use our needle tool just to texturize inside of the tip of the wing. And also we're going to start adding more clay right at the back of the neck just to follow the proportional chart shape. Just a reminder, you have to do these in both sides and at the same time so that way it turns out to be symmetrical. Use your stylus just to uh, integrate the pieces of clay that you put in and then the needle tool to texturize. If you have any difficulty to put things in a symmetrical way, you can draw a line half of the body so in that way you know from the left and to, for the right side like 
the distance and the proportions. Then you can texturize erasing that line. To create the texture on the wings, we're going to draw these three lines across them. To create the dimension of the wings, uh, we're going to push the clay under the line. For this, we use a stylus with the smallest tip, and again, we just mark uh, under the lines, and that way we create three dimensional feathers. Then we're gonna add the same color as we used for the body on the third line and this is just to create more texture and to create more dimension. So we're gonna use the stylus just to incorporate this piece of clay that is gonna have the shape of the that part of the wing. Then we're gonna start drawing the feathers and we use the, the needle tool just to create in the single feathers on the wing. Then using the needle tool, we push even further the clay to create the three-dimensional layers of the feathers. We're gonna start adding a touch of the lighter red just here and then, um, just to add more texture to the wing. And there are just the small pieces of clay that are then we're gonna texturize. So that way we integrate the part of the top of the red uh, going and mixing to the wing. And then we add just another piece of red clay in the second layer, just to integrate the top of the wing to the body and the front start texturizing and mixing it and after this you need to texturize the entire body to texturize the wings we're gonna create each individual feather and for this we use the needle tool creating the texture of each one so we start with one side of the feathers and then we go uh, all the way to the opposite side and try to leave just in the middle and line that I, you don't touch so in that way it creates the illusion of the center of the feather after you finish with one side you start creating the other side start from the top finishing to the bottom we're gonna start creating the tail and for this we use the lighter red and we create a shape of a tear and then we start flattening it and make it a longer until we get the shape that is in the proportional chart. I draw a line in the middle and then I create the end of the tail that I, they have like two feathers. And we're gonna add just on the tip two identical uh, dark spots and we use a darker tone for these and they're gonna be um, just at the end of each side so create two identical ones so the darker tone is almost like a two arcs that are just at the tip of the end of the tail and this is just to create more dimension. To texturize we need uh, the needle tool and we start creating from the tip to the bottom. The reason we didn't start from the top it is because that's where we're gonna add it to the body. So we start texturizing just from the bottom on first and one side and then we go to the other side leaving the middle without touching since it's the part of the feather with all the little hairs they get attached try to be really symmetrical and just go on the border Then we do exactly the same on the other side and also at the back. Don't forget to draw the line in the middle, creating the two feathers and then texturize in each side. To add more dimension to the tail, we're gonna create another layer and this is gonna be a smaller, so compared to the base that we created. And we're gonna do exactly the same. The tear we flatten, 
but in this one we're gonna add more tones and more texture and the texture is just gonna be on the top since we're gonna put it on the top of the base of the other feathers We're gonna add a piece of wire to our tails in that way when we're baking it doesn't bend or it doesn't fall and this is gonna make it stronger. That's, an, that's the reason we use in two pieces for the tail not just to add texture but also to cover our wire. Just make sure to measure it against your body and your lead that is gonna be the two feathers that are gonna be on the top of the tail. After you measure, just insert it off the top of the triangle that we put as the, tail, the base of the tail and then you're going to cover with the two smaller feathers. Incorporate it with your needle tool, texturize it. Then cover with the base and you will have the three-dimensional tail. Just make sure that you pressure pretty well so it's really incorporated. And retexturize if you affect the texture. Now we're gonna incorporate the eyes and just make sure that they are really symmetrical. Push them inside without affecting the texture or the shape of the head. And then you can bake. Now we bent a piece of wire that is going to be our branch and we're going to cover it with a white clay. After we cover, then we position it inside our frame. In case you want a frame, you can just position it as a base and just give it the shape that you want it to so that way you can stand the branch just by itself. We use the biggest stylus ball just to create lines to texturize. Now we're going to insert our bird to just make sure that the legs are a little bit curved so that way they look a little bit more natural and they end with the same length so in that way they look the same size. No one shorter, no one longer, so just the same. And then you can bake. Now we're going to start covering the wire for the legs and for this we're going to use a little bit of pink. I created this pink with a little bit of black, a little bit of red and a lot of white. Mix it together and then we're going to create a, just a small tube that is going to cover the entire wire. The point of it is just to cover the wire so make sure that you don't add a really thick layer so it's, it has to be really thin and cover the two of them. Try to work on the both legs at the same time so they are the same size and the same thickness. Now we're gonna start creating the toes and for these we create a set of three little spheres and they have to be the same size. Then we're gonna create a, like a large cone that is the tip it is really thin and this is just to give it a like uh, the texture of the claws that they're gonna have and we texturize we before putting them in because it's really hard to put them and texturize on there on the other side so just be really careful and patient because um, when the clay is dry it's really hard to put it in but it, it will stick. So use your tools just to place it in and to texturize in the places where you cannot reach with your fingers. So we added the one at the back and we're gonna add the one on the left and the one on the side finger. The finger that is in the middle we just extended the uh, clay that we used to cover the wire and we ended it with a cloth. After you position it you just start texturizing with your stylus. the extra wire and the hook that you have above the head. We create a 
mini cone with a curve to create the feathers that it has above the head. Then we place it, we incorporate it with the needle tool and we start creating the texture to give it a form and the shape that we want. Use the small stylus just to incorporate it pretty well so it gets really attached to the head. And then with the needle texturize even more. After these, you can bake the entire piece. And we're done. So this is how it's gonna look like. Um, these frames I bought it in at the Cora store, they are really easy to find even in Amazon. Just if you're gonna bake it inside of the frame, bake it at 200 degrees, just for half an hour. Thank you so much for watching how to make a red cardinal. If you have any comments or suggestions, post them below this video. And if you'd like to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe.